So, last class you have learned about intricacies of IC layout design, its importance and the, the uh, and the evolution of IC layout, uh, IC layout uh, say legislation in India. Now, I will discuss in this class, because I understood that IC layout is also an important forms of IP, where the you engineers and technologists may play an important roles. Okay. So, definitely it will be good if you learn the procedure for registrations of that, definitely you will be the creators and if you do not know the procedure how to establish rights over your creation, then somehow there will be a gap. So, just like say uh, in your fabrication lab, fab lab we used to call, you may create lots of IC and definitely intermediate steps in creation of ICs involve the IC layout design. So, why not to know the procedure to register the IC layout design and India. Okay. So, when we are stating about the registration, definitely you have to learn the different elements just like say who can apply, apply for registration as a creator whether I may be allowed to apply or I have to follow, I have to assign it to somebody or I have or I have to create a legal representations, legal representative for it. Okay. Then where to apply, okay. although present day internet have make your life easier, simply typing this query you may get the information, but you should know the query also. Okay, where to apply, then how to apply, then what criteria, criteria that are required to meet to meet, okay. so the criteria required to meet. So, these are the different questions will come to your minds. We will try to, I will try to give the answers regarding all the queries. Okay. So, now uh, who can apply? Okay for registrations of IC layout design. Just like say when I told about the industrial design and copyright, there we referred a person called authors, who is the authors? The person who has created that work is considered an authors in respect of copyright act and same way it can be applicable for industrial design. And here also IC layout design involve creations, say, say uh, creation of the layout. Okay. So, here also you may consider the authors, we may refer as authors, creator as authors. So, who can apply? The authors or if he executed that work under some consideration, then the for whom he has created that work, the persons or the legal entity can apply for registration. Let us it elaborate, you are working in an organization called let us say uh, CDAC. Now, you are permanent employee of CDAC you created some layout. Now, 
the your employee employer agreement suggested that whatever IP you will create during the course of employment, you have to assign the right to CDAC. In that case, CDAC will apply for registration of this IC layout. So, you got the answer regarding the questions on who can apply or if you are it is not say you are not sorry you are thinking about that I will not uh, I will not uh, say uh, bothers about the prosecutions and the procedural aspects. So, in that case you may assign the right to just like you are not working in a organization, but you have a creative mind. So, what you can do you create after creation you assign the right to some other persons or sell that if the or any company or organization interested sell that things to that company considering the value of that thoughts of creation the company will take the take that assignment based on some considerations and the company will be the now the assignee for that layout and definitely company will apply for registration. So, now where to apply? So, you have to apply. So, just like see this is another part just like uh, if I now asked you that different forms of IP in just like different forms of IP different forms of IP. IP and their administration. So, just the Ministry of Commerce, Commerce, Commerce. Now, we have heard about Ministry of MHRD, Ministry of Human Resource Development. Just like whatever forms of IP till now we discussed, I am concentrating on that part. So, in the Ministry of Commerce, we have patent. Now, also uh, there is a discussion. So, till I am putting under the Ministry of MHRD specifically patent, ID, industrial design, trademark, uh, geographical indications within the purview of Ministry of Commerce. MHRD, I am just still putting back. So, this is the discussion uh, here the copyright. Okay. So, uh, so, two ministries involvement in respect of registration of those forms of IP. Now, another ministry is coming for the Ministry of Information Technology. Information Technology. So, okay, this is coming for these forms of IP. Information technology for this IC layout. Okay, so this uh, that way that where to apply the questions also came up. Yes, the questions also I try to answer where to apply means under the Ministry of Information Technology. Now, there is a uh, so within if you go through that then the acts and legislation you will get the act and there also they have referred the procedural aspect for registration to registration of IC layout design. If you now visit the sites, there will be found that they are uh, if, they, if you scroll the sites, you will find okay, uh, one registration of uh, IC layout design in the registries. They are, uh, they are just advertising that in their sites. So, how to apply before that you should know the criteria for registration of IC layout design. Okay. Just like whether it is qualified to be a qualify to apply, whether you will be qualified or your creation will qualify for IC layout uh, design registration, you should know that what criteria it required to be meet, then only you can go for applications just like I referred already patent before filing you should do enormous search with reference to the prior art that include prior patent specifications or non patent literatures. Okay. Uh, similarly, before commercialization 
you should do go for FTO type search freedom to operate search. So, that way search is essential. Similarly, here also uh, industrial designs also I refer search required, trademarks also I refer that search is required, trademark search that what our uh, search before registration. So, here also you may consider that search may be required, although database in present day context is not so much and there is no such database is available, but if you follow the say scientific method, then search is also one of the parameters in respect of IC layout design as per act, what are the criteria, criteria they have specified for registration of the IC layout design, just like I refer it section 7 of the Indian act the 2000, they have created the criteria or they have speak or spoken out the criteria for registration of the IC layout design in India. So, they refer that that like a negative way just like the industrial design if you read, they have negative way title that what is prohibited from registration they are referring, which is not original. Now, you referred what do you mean by original? Okay. Originals means not original means originated from the authors means not copied from any other spaces. Okay. Uh, so, that criteria of copyright is also applicable here. Then the or which has been commercially exploited anywhere in India or any conventional country means if it is commercially exploited that is the important parameters you have to analyze here that in respect of uh, prior art, we are considering that commercial exploitation. So, if it is exploited in the form of research or personal used purposes, uh, that is not applicable here. So, what do you mean by commercial exploitation? It means that layout is commercially exploited anywhere in the o India or in a conventional country, but there there is a, a clause I will refer subsequently that clause also. So, commercially exploited anywhere in India or any conventional country, conventional country includes the Paris Convention member country. So, commercially exploited the word you should remember here commercially exploited. It can be more clarified let us say what do you mean commercially exploited let us say a company A procure some device that contains that layout, whether it seems commercially exploited, I will say yes, although the although the questions of first sale doctrine and other that is uh, not within the scope of this class, but it will be considered commercial exploitation. Okay. And or which is not inherently distinctive or which is not inherently capable of being distinguishing from any other register layout design. So, the criteria means it should be distinctive inherently not say just like in copy a trademark inherent and capable of distinguish. So, it should be distinct from other layout design which has already registered. So, if it should have to be meet the criteria of distinctiveness and distinctive means inherent. So, that way you say let us say this is a one part of let us say like this way layout, I am just simply simplified way another part I am creating. So, definitely you understood from this appearance of these two patterns both are distinct. and by virtue of origin it is distinct. Okay. So, distinct. So, that way that it should have be this should be also distinct. So, if I ask me or or the criteria or means should have be represented as and. So, all those criteria per se are required to be meet for a IC layout design to be registered means what criteria you are getting it should be original. then 
it should not be commercially exploited means let us say I am just try to put it out the criteria called uh, noble new by virtue of commercial exploitation. Okay. Then you are trying to put the criteria called distinct distinct. Okay. So, uh, originality new with reference to some parameters distinct these are the criteria your IC layout design should meet in order to get register. Okay. So, now the commercial exploitation part there is a provisional clause. So, even if you commercially exploited in India, if you go and register within the specific time frame, then it will not not denied registrations. So, commercial exploitations also does not prevent you to register your IC layout design, if you register it within a specific time frame. That act has given that sorts of privileges to the creators, owners or users. So, okay. so, now you understood the criteria for registration of IC layout design in India. Original, original space originated from authors, new with reference to commercial exploitation, then distinct. Okay. I will tell about the procedural aspect to register the IC layout design in India. Just like say, you yeah, understood the person has to apply, the particular forms is available, sometimes we call LD 1 forms. In that forms, you have to refer who is the applicant. Okay. So, now applicant will apply, then it will be you, you can apply, I think there is no e portal available for this, you apply following that forms and you have to give the representations of the layout, which is there is a procedural aspect suggested a dimensional requirement just like say it should be 20 times more than the exact layout which are you are trying to implement just like a nano chips. So, if 5 nanometer dimension, if the <coughs> layout representation should have be 100 nanometer in dimension. So, that 20 times and more refer, then when you apply for registrations, then they will ultimately examine. So, it is the not simply registration based, registration based procedure, it is examination based procedure, the registry will examine the IC layout with reference to the criteria just like originality distinctiveness criteria, then <coughs> it will be they will send an examination report, we have to comply with the examination report, then also they will publish this design for opposition or they will advertise this uh, design for opposition, any persons can oppose the registration of this design, if no opposition or opposition decided in favor of the applicant, it will be registered. Date of application is the will be considered the date of registration. So, steps involves of registration, steps involves in respect of registration means application. You will get substantial similarity with reference to the others process also applications, then examination, then comply with the examination report, okay. then advertisement opposition registers. These are the steps involved in 
order to register your IC layout. Okay. So, now you understood the steps involved in uh, our procedure involved in registration of IC layout design. Now, learnt about the rights. So, right means IC layout, whether people are selling the IC layout or people are selling the components in components that have incorporated the IC layout. Let us see what they have been provided, right have been provided. So, right conferred by registration. So, they are mentioned subject to the other provision of this act, registration of the IC layout design shall if valid. What do you mean by if valid? Just you, you have when you register your IC layout design, it will be protected or registers for 10 years, there is no subsequent renewal. Okay. So, valid means if it is industrial design, register IC layout design is registers and you, it is uh, say valid, give to the register proprietor, who is registers proprietor under whose name the IC layout design in register, because the registry will kept a register in the registers against this IC layout, the proprietor name will be mentioned. The proprietor's name, whose name will be mentioned, he will be the register proprietor of IC layout design. So, register proprietor of the layout design, the exclusive right to use the layout design. So, what rights they are providing? They have the right to use the layout design and to obtain relief in respect of infringement in the manner provided by this act. So, see that the beauty of intellectual property rights and nice way it has been casted just like say he has the right in the form of exclusive right to use the IC layout design. Use means not clearly spoken use means use in that IC layout form or use in the form of uh, in the use such a way that use involved incorporating the layout design in a particular electronic components both can be considered as a use use of IC layout design. So, he can use it and he can obtain relief in respect of infringement in a manner provided by this act. Okay. So, you understood what rights have been provided uh, to the register proprietor of IC layout design. Okay. So, now definitely the word you understood the infringement in manner provided by this act. So, you are the proprietor, you are creator, you are the proprietor, you are the register proprietor. Now, how can you obtain a revenue out of this layout design? you obtain a revenue out of this layout design by virtue of use, you yourself use or you used by virtue of a license agreement. So, definitely you can give license of your IC layout design to some organization or person. So, in that case it will be considered permitted use, the license arrangement can be made. So, that way it, you are using getting revenue and that way also you get revenue. If some company is uh, using that your IC layout design, then you can file an infringement suit against that company and obtain relief. If you are asking for some damages, so relief will come in the form of a in the form of damages. Now, let us learn what is infringement as specified in the act. Okay. So, I mention a register layout design is infringed by a person who not being the register proprietor of the layout design or register user. So, what do you mean by registered user? Just like say, if a register layout design is licensed to some other person, so sometime uh, that the register proprietor has to inform to the registry that I have given license to uh, my, license my IC layout design to that persons and his name also will be reflected in the registers and he will be considered as register user. Okay, so, now the registered users, okay, so register proprietor, register user, if he is register user then no problem, then does so that thereof register user thereof does not does any act of reproducing means if he reproduce that IC layout design whether by incorporating in a semiconductor integrated circuit 
or otherwise otherwise a register layout design is in its entire entirety or any parts thereof. So, understand if you also incorporated that register layout design in a part also incorporating where in a semiconductor integrated circuit means I C may be a let us say chips and how you are incorporating either in a entirely or any parts thereof except such act of reproducing any part thereof which is not original. If say if your register uh, layout design is not original then definitely you will not be liable because there is no rights you may claim in an infringement suit as in a defense this is not an original IC layout design then you will not be liable for infringement. So, okay. so that way uh, reproducing any part also may lead to the infringement if it qualify the substantial similarity test that is also applicable here. Although there is no case involved in India till date. So, then understanding that part any part there was then subsequently subject to the provision of the subsection it does which is not uh, said uh, so uh, consider infringement subject to the provision of the subsection 5 does any act of importing. So, the what I want to refer here because use okay, and use in entirety then what are others other things they have been provided subject to the provision of the subsection 5 does any act of uh, importing or selling or otherwise distributing for commercial purposes that this is already I refer commercial purposes uh, commercial purposes a register layout design or semiconductor integrated circuit incorporating such register uh, layout design or an article incorporating such semiconductor integrated circuit design containing such register layout design for use of which such person is not entitled under the act. So, what is the uh, meaning of this sections? It indicates that if you somebody commercial purposes import an equipment that contain that semiconductor integrated circuit uh, that is registered in India, uh, then also he will be considered as infringer. Okay. So, import importing and selling will lead to the infringement of the IC layout design. So, so you simply importing incorporating that layout design lead to also infringement. So, you know that if you are registered proprietor of IC layout design company A is importing for commercial purposes some electronic components and somehow you able to understood that electronic components contain an IC and that IC the layout design is you are the register proprietor then you can file an infringement suit and get definitely relief in the form of a damages. So, understood what is considered your rights in respect of IC layout design. So, in the right part for the reason I mentioned that the better to analyze the infringement components also and I have discussed with reference to the statutory provision applicable in India. And there is also exception just like say if you use the IC layout design for research analysis purposes just like you uh, in your educational institutes or in an R and D just like you understood you are curious about let us say uh, Pentium 4 chips let us see what are the components involved or in that chips or let us say other I C. Then uh, you can procure that and go for research use that for research and analysis purposes then it will not be considered infringement so, that have been uh, provided. So, re, so, you consider research or analytical purposes if you use for the reason you will not be considered infringement again also you understood here commercial purpose have been declared. So, if you use it for personal purposes that also may not consider infringements. Okay. So, now you understood the whole procedural aspects in respect of IC layout design. So, now let us summarize the discussions we have learnt about who can apply, where to apply, how to apply and what 
rights you have on the IC layout design registers and how you will get a return on investment on respect of your creations that also have been provided based on the right on register layout design. Okay, let us 